We have a big announcement coming for summer of 2023 at Blank Park Zoo. We are excited to be partnering with Rusty Stars Alpaca Farm to bring eight alpacas to the zoo for special experiences all summer long. You'll be able to come out to the zoo to learn all about these amazing animals, um, including the fiber that they produce. You'll be able to have special experiences with them and get to know each of the individuals. What's the difference between an alpaca and a llama? That's our number one question that we get out here. On the surface, llamas are much bigger than alpacas. Um, they are different species, although they're in the same family of, of camelids, um, which includes camels. In today's world, llamas have somewhat lost their initial purpose. They're used more as a recreational animal uh, in today's world, whereas alpacas have maintained their original purpose as fiber producers. Uh, so alpaca fiber is really what alpacas are all about. They wouldn't exist if it wasn't for that fiber. The history of the fiber is actually what created the alpaca. So the ancestor of an alpaca is called a vicuña, which is a, a wild native South American animal that exists today. And through hundreds and hundreds of years of selective breeding, the alpaca was created. You can't associate alpacas without relating that to their fiber. And, and their purpose in this world is to provide very nice, warm, soft, luxurious type products to people. The alpacas uh, here on our farm live the life of luxury. We uh, provide them what they seem to want most, which is shelter, um, adequate food, clean water. Uh, they're pretty, pretty lazy, I would say, um, predictable. They're not usually running around. They never try to escape from their pastures or enclosures. The alpacas have their own personality. Some smile, some uh, are hesitant, some are eager to greet you. The general attitude of alpacas are, are very gentle. They're inquisitive, but cautious. Uh, when you see those big fuzzy heads and, and big eyes staring almost right in your face, the gentle breath of an alpaca, if you get up close to them, uh, it's really, a, it's just a, I guess, a spiritual connection to that, that animal. They, uh, they sort of welcome you in um, cautiously. People describe their experience interacting with them as either relaxing or, or therapeutic or, or both. Um, they just seem to have a, a, a unique presence about them. The alpacas are such like gentle and sweet animals and so just like curious and easy to be around that um, people of all ages are very comfortable with them. They're really friendly and they're just good animals to be around. I don't know, they give like good vibes off. <laughs> This Giving Tuesday, we're raising money to renovate the space to bring these animals to the zoo. Donate today to help us bring this experience to our community.